I want to tell you a little story on how we actually got a Snoop Dogg looking cat we call Stinky. For that, let me take you back to the summer of 2023. So we went on a walk today with Vulture and as we were coming back there was this loud meowing noise that was like very constant, it was like So I started looking into the bushes and everything and uh, I came across this little thing, it was like on this abandoned fence in a very, very foresty bit. That's basically how we got it. Oh, it farted. And this is how we got its name. Oh, it farted. That's... I think it's Vulture. No, it's this. The kitten seemed very friendly and attached itself to us from the very beginning. He probably thought we were its parents. For a while we were debating whether we should keep it or not. I mean, we already had Vulture and he was giving us plenty of trouble. But after a little bit of time we also got attached to it and decided to keep it. Stinky and Vulture became best friends very quickly. I mean, what the hell is going on here? Is he giving Vulture a massage? We eventually had to introduce it to Prim. And as you know, Prim has a bit of a complicated personality. Before we had a chance to introduce them, Ida and I went on a two-week hike with Vulture and left Stinky with Ida's parents. Mitko thought it was a good idea to take on the introducing responsibility. Unfortunately, it did not go according to plan. Prim attacked the poor kitten, so Ida's mom had to take it to a vet and then it was limping for ages. Over time, and with a bit of discipline, they finally got along. Well, to a point where Stinky learned to deal with Prim and its antics. He also learned to feed himself whenever his heart desires, and most of the time he still sleeps or licks our necks. So that is the brief story of Stinky. There is also a funny story of this cute but mischievous escape artist, but that is for another time.